that's it. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Oh, we gotta get the same thing, dude. Ready? Go ahead. Ready, ready. Mama. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Coming up. Good morning, fishing fam. It's early morning. I got some shrimp. I'm back at the jetties, North Packery jetties to be exact. 6.55, sun's coming up. I need to get my rods rigged and ready to go. Let's get out there. Top of the morning to you guys. Corrado MGL, Daiwa Coastal. I have some updated information about the sunken barge and my Daiwa Saltis rod later in the video. But for now, let's get back to fishing. We're gonna hit the jetties but it's live shrimp and see what we get. Beautiful morning. Let's get on these fish. Got Richard. Jetty John. Morning. Waiting for Ron Legend to show up. Ron <laughs> We're gonna see if we get any fish today guys. See what wants to bite. Yeah, I got one on. You got you on? Yeah, I got one on. I'll get on time to eat. You gotta scoop it quick. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> look at that! <laughs> what a fan! Feet like basketball, dude! <laughs> that shrimp ball in his mouth, look at that. Good hook set. Perfect, beautiful thunder. Nice keeper, instant keeper off the bit after that. Nice, let's go. Carolina rig, one ounce egg weight. So it's three octopus J hook. Live shrimp, hook to the head. That's it. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Oh, we gotta get the same thing, dude. Ready? Go ahead. Ready, ready. Mama. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Where's he at? It's cute, it's cute, Ray. There we go, right there. Got him. Yeah, cute. That's a bigger oh. one. That's a nice day today. It's a lot better. It's a lot of bait here too, so hopefully, hopefully there's a lot more around. Well, it's about this color yesterday, maybe a little murkier, but it was, it was uh, I didn't get my first bite, but I didn't yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got on them pretty quick. Come on, got it. Got it going, bro. Yeah, bro, where you at, bro? My, 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 my spool's open, my spool's open. Okay, got it, I got it. Scoop it. There you go. Ooh, that's oh, a nice one. Good. That's a nice one, John. Yeah, I'm going to get you guys. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, John. That's it. Fishing oh, yeah. with good yeah, friends here. Yes, yeah, sir. Right. Getting hard to it, bro. Oh, yeah, with a good thump. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, mine was a nice thump too, Ron. They're, they're hitting it pretty decent today. Yeah, the first one I caught, the bigger one, I didn't even know I... I would just pull on my line just to check it if I was snagged or not to hold on there. <laughs> just came up and sat down on your bait. If you have to flip it, go ahead, bro. But, I mean, it's not the I best got, idea. I got really light. Double, double cut net. It, cut it real quick. Oh, walk, walk him up with a the, with the wave. There you go. Here. Oh, that's a nice one. Don't pull him up yet. Here we go. Flip him. Got He's net. off. He's off. Oh. That was a decent one, bro. I don't need it anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just, I just oh, said, oh, 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. Not sure what kind of flounder that is, bro. Is that an Atlantic or Southern flounder? That's a spotted flounder. Spotted flounder. <laughs> How big do they get here? It's a spotted jetty flounder. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> there are two flounder species that live in the Texas waters. The Southern flounder and the Gulf flounder. The southern flounder is the main flounder found in Packery Channel, Corpus Christi, Texas. Southern flounder are brown on their left side with numerous dark and light spots and blotches that are not ringed or oscillated, as you can see here in this picture. Well, let's get after them. Yes, sir. I did it, bro. It happened too fast. <laughs> he went flying. Oh, that was funny. God, man, I wish I recorded that. That would have been too funny, bro. Oh, man. So I set the hook and the flounder went flying across the jetty, landing the other side in the water. Came off the hook. It's a goner. <laughs> that was wild. Dude, that was crazy. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to go that far. I ran over there and You were like, what the I didn't want to drop my rod. I should have dropped my rod and just jumped on it. Huh? Yeah. Right to the water. He spit it. Dang. He thumped the heck out of it twice. He's there. <laughs> There'll be plastic eggs breaking this year. Four, yeah. yeah. Four That's funny, bro. I'll never forget that, dude. I see we flipped it. Was it. Perfect. Ron said if the cooler lid had been open, he would have gone right in. Hey, we can do that. <laughs> oh, I got one on, I think. Yeah. Oh, let him flip it. Let him flip it. Hey, God, God, let him flip it. That feels like a nice one, though, bro. I'm taking it. Ah. Damn, he was munching a tail in. Look at that. Hey, you flick it, I'll catch it, okay? Damn, he, he hey, bit that half of us. Last year, me, Ron, and Richard were right. Hey, right. Right. Look at you real quick, man. Look at your flounder. Look at your Nice hit, guys. You got a flounder on, I think. That was a solid thump. Got it. Ooh. Nice one. Woo! That was a solid thumb, guys. Look at that. Barely hooked, too. Skin hooked. Oh, my Lord. Oh, it just came right off the hook, guys. Sheesh. Solid thumb, guys. Excellent, excellent fish. Yeah, beautiful. Nice fish, guys. See how big it is. Probably 18, I want to say. 18 inch flounder. Look at those eyes. 
18 inch flounder. Stupid thump. Sheesh. Let's go. Beautiful flounder. Nice 18 inch flounder, guys. Live shrimp. Jetty flounder. Let's go, my dudes. Oh shoot, I just lost another one. What the heck? That's insane. They're biting good right now. Let's get back out there. Just missed another one right now. Let's see what else is here, guys. Hopefully there's more. Bike turned on, guys. Had an early morning bite, and now we're having the before lunch lunchtime bite here. See if I can get myself uh, another flounder, something. For those of you who don't know about the sunken barge, a while back, a barge similar to this one broke free, coming in due to the high winds, waves, and dangerous tides caused by Hurricane Ian. Bumping into a rock, the barge got a hole and sank. The fish started to gain a liking to the structure, attracting a lots of fishermen. Well, that came to an end, as plans to remove it has begun on February the 19th, and the South Jetty will remain closed till they finish. Now let's get back to fishing, guys. Holy moly. That's a monster, guys. That's a monster. That's a monster. That's a monster. I bit it. I bit it. I bit it. I bit it, guys. I bit it. I bit it. That's a 20. That's a 20 for sure. All day. All right, guys, afternoon bite. Got myself a nice 19 inch flounder on live shrimp on, on that Carolina rig. Nice 19 inch flounder. Beautiful fish. Makes it three. I lost three already also. Could have myself a limit. That's fishing. Let's get more. Beautiful overcast day. A little misty and a cold in the morning, but the flounders didn't mind. They like that. We got about a handful of them on live shrimp on a Carolina rig. I got three of them. Two of them being real nice, 117 and 118. Um, live shrimp was a tick on a Carolina, like I said. Now it's time to go get these flounders cleaned up and tossed on the grill, the pit, or in the oven. Let's go. Just as I got home, guys, before I started cooking up that flounder, I noticed that my Daiwa Saltis rod came in the mail. The one that snapped on that 20 inch sheep head. Well, I took it out to the jetties the next day, breaking it in the right way on some nice flounders. Fishing the barge one last time, guys. 
What's up, folks? All right, we're back home. Got some breadcrumbs mixed with flour, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder here. The breadcrumbs are garlic and herb. Got some egg wash here mixed with some milk. And I got my fresh Texas flounder right out the water by the jetties. I got some fries, some buns. We're gonna be making some fresh flounder sandwiches. Let's get to it, guys. All right, I got myself some flounder. Cut up, perfect to be fried up for the sandwich. Perfect sizes. Look at that beautiful white meat. Oh my God. Soaking them in the egg wash. Got my nice little bath. Right up into that mix. Nice and coated up. Might be easier in a big bag, but do it this way. All right, I got my pile of breaded up flounder. About to get in the grease. Got the fried flounder, fries. My buns, <laughs> my buns. All right, let's get this sandwich put together. There it is guys, the fries, some pickles, some delicious Southern flounder with some tartar sauce, lettuce, and sweet Hawaiian buns, ketchup. Man, can't go wrong with some flounder. One of my favorite fish to eat. Now this is South Texas Fishing Fam. Make sure you hit that like, please comment, and don't forget to subscribe. It's free, we out. Another fish here, guys. It's like a decent sized fish, too. Oh, that's a sheep head. Sheep's head season is upon us, guys. Are you ready?